My religion teacher told me once that the best thing to do when you're having trouble being nice to someone is to imagine that they're Jesus Christ. Whether I'm being nice or not, I always imagine a priest as Jesus Christ. It just doesn't seem to leave my mind. They closely resemble him, not in physical appearance, but in spiritual. After all, they are the bridge that connects us to Jesus himself. Priesthood is one of the three holy orders of the Catholic Church. At the start of Jesus' mission, he selected several men who became the apostles. They helped him carry out his message, and along the way, they appointed new men to do so. In the present day ministry, a priest is a baptized man who has received the sacrament of holy orders. There are many, many words to describe priests. Holy. Honorable. Caring. Fatherly. Charitable. <coughs> insightful. Model. Dedicated. Dignified. Shepherd. Graceful. Spiritual. Inspirational. Kind. Admirable. But I like to use the word bridge. You see, priests connect us to Jesus. That's what I think their main job is, in my opinion. To, I think, be a pastoral leader to the, God's people. You know, being present to them when I have the opportunity to help them in their trials and tribulations when they're experiencing difficulties. So just be like, try to be like Jesus was. I try to think do the same thing. I try to help people. That's the great satisfaction I get, trying to help people. Like maybe if I'm hearing a confession, if I do a good job at the confession, I make the person feel better. So what I try to do is I, I try to truly act as a representative of Jesus by being like Jesus was, kind, compassionate, and forgiving as well. The priest stands in the footsteps of Jesus and makes him present while offering Mass. They help us relive the Last Supper, and they interpret, define, and defend our faith and the Church. Priests are the bridge that connects us to Jesus. Priests are our religious guides. Behind all the layers of roles and jobs they have, it just comes down to a man who feels the burning passion of the Holy Spirit inside him. Today, we are surrounded by earthly things like technology and social media. Priests keep us grounded and lead us towards all that is good. Not only does a priest absolve my sins, but he also gives me advice on what to do and suggests something that I can do to fix my past mistakes. Though my penance is personal, I do want to say that a priest did inspire me to be a better person. This I'm really grateful for because without him, I would have never felt that big impact on me as I left this church. Other experiences that I've heard also show how vital their presence really is. I had attended a women's retreat. And I had been very, very angry and upset about something deep. And while I was participating in one of the scripture activities, I was supposed to go up to the altar that was set up, but I had been um, very, very deeply upset and angry, and I wouldn't even participate. I just said aloud, dear Jesus, I wish you could just come down here and put your arms around me. And then I went back to my seat. And the priest that participated put his arms around me and held me and just kept reciting the prayer, Jesus, Jesus. And each time he said Jesus, I felt the anger and the pain and the upset leaving my body. And the transformation was physically visible to all those in attendance and they couldn't believe it. The priesthood is essential to our Catholic family and having them is a glorious gift. We will always need that bridge that connects with God to connect with him. They actually remind me of real bridges. Bridges can crumble and stop us from getting from one place to another. But with a little hope and faith, there will always be a group that will build it back up. And that group is the priesthood.